I've had an unbelievable experience sharing the stories of other people's lives and letting those stories inspire a lot of the songs on my last several records. I think about Jordan when I sing Hello My Name Is. I see Renee's face when I sing Forgiveness. I think about Tanya when I sing Strong Enough. The list goes on and on and people have shared their stories and somehow, some way, those stories have turned into songs and it's been amazing. The other day I was doing an interview and the interviewer asked me, is there a story that's moved you that you have yet to tell? And my answer to that was, yeah, my story. I don't know what happened, I didn't plan on it, but when I went to the cabin to start writing the songs for this new record, I just began to kind of dive into my own story in a way that I've never really done. Like, the lyrics share more color and imagery and parts of my story than, than I've ever shared. And a perfect example of that is a song called The Sound of a Life Changing. I think maybe it's because I just got done writing the Hello My Name Is book, and in that book, man, I, I just kind of dug into my story and talked about my own search to find my identity in Christ. But So on the heels of writing that book, I step in and I start writing this song called The Sound of a Life Changing. What was the sound of my life changing? Well, it was Stephen Curtis Chapman. I was a college student, and we got tickets to sit in the balcony in the cheap seats to see him in Champaign, Illinois. I'll never forget it. I heard him singing Speechless and all these other songs. And that was the night that God called me into music ministry. I'll never forget it. And I've gotten to tell Steven that story. But I sat there, the show's over, and I'm crying. And all my buddies are like, dude, what's wrong with Matthew? And uh, I didn't care because I was having a moment, a moment where God was calling me. Literally, I, I specifically felt God calling me saying I was going to be part of the next generation telling a lost world about Jesus through my songs. How cool is that? And now I'm sitting here talking about these songs that I get to deliver to the world because God began that good work then and he's still faithful to complete it. The coolest thing was I wanted to call Stephen Curtis and I called him and I invited him to come to the cabin and he wrote this song with me and uh, that was a pretty special full circle moment. The sound of a life changing and uh, having the chance to, to write that song that's kind of about him and how God used him to get to write that song with him. So I hope this song uh, means as much to people as, as it does to me.